Have you ever had a question about military service and should you buy your active duty time back to count towards your retirement? Have you ever thought about that? Then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Micah Shalansky and this is the FERS Federal Fact Check. Today we have a question from Tom about military retirement. I have almost five years of federal service, FERS, approximately 15 days short. I have another seven years of honorable active duty service. I retired from the Air Force Reserves with 23 years of service and will receive our retirement within five years. Question, can I still buy those seven years of active duty towards my FERS retirement? Thanks, Tom. Tom, that's a great question. I'm a huge fan of buying military time back. I've never seen a case where it doesn't make sense unless we have a pension, right? We get a buy that time back at pretty inexpensive rates. It adds to our federal pension in order to make us not only eligible for retire sooner because it counts towards your eligibility, but also increases your pension, which is great. The caveat with that is if you have a military pension, it may not make sense to do because then you're going to give up that military pension unless you're in the reserves. This is a really unique opportunity because you're in the reserves, you get to eat your cake, have your cake and eat it too. Not only do you get to buy those seven years back that are pretty inexpensive, do the math on it, right? It's 3% of your base pay plus a little bit of inflation. You're gonna be charging them interest on that money. So get that math and see how much that's gonna cost but it's gonna increase your pension by another 7%, 1% for every year. That's probably gonna make sense in retirement as long as you plan to make it to some retirement gate. So what are our retirement gates that are out there? Well, you could be your MRA, your minimum retirement age and 30 years of federal service. You could be 60 years young and have 20 years of federal service or 62 and five years of federal service. So you've already met, well, at least in 15 days, right? You're already gonna met the five years of service. You buy the seven years back now now you're at 12 years of federal service, you're at least gonna get some pension in retirement, even if you don't make it to one of these other two gates. So that's really, really good. I'd highly encourage you to look at the numbers, go ahead and buy it back. Not only when you buy it back, make sure you keep a couple of things. Number one, keep the check that proves that you bought that back with. You're gonna need this new retirement application. You also should be getting a letter back from OPM. It says, congratulations, your time counts for retirement. After you get that as well, you should also go to your uh, HR and have them do a certified summary of federal service. Have them document that yes, they have that information for you to make sure it's counted in your retirement. And you wanna hold on to those documents because when you go to retire, retire, you know, five, 10, 20 years later, however long you're gonna be in the first system, you might have to prove that you've made that deposit. And if there's not proof that you've made that deposit, you may have to make it again, and that can be a little painful. So keep your records, keep your documents to make sure that deposit counts towards your retirement. Tom, that was a great question. If you have questions like this, they'd love to be on the first federal fact check, then go below, submit your question. Or if you have more particular questions about your unique situation, then go below, quick, click that schedule appointment button. We can sit down one-on-one -on -one and go through your personal situation. And until next time, happy planning.